This Google Slides tutorial is what I'm calling Making It Fancy Part 1. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you about hyperlinking um, different parts of your Google Slide presentation and about inserting shapes and many other items. So first of all, something just to note, when you're in a slideshow, if you uh, click this top left um, slides button, it's going to take you back to your slides home. Again, this is where if you go to slides.google.com, log in with your WCPS username and password, um, this is where that's going to bring you to. Um, also something cool to note is that if you hit the menu here on the left, you can easily tr um, transfer over to your docs or your sheets. Um, you can also go into your Google Drive, which I'll show you in a later tutorial about how and where your presentations show up there, and you can change some of your settings. So I'm going to go into our sample to presentation. And the first thing that I'm going to do is add a new slide. So I'm going to click here because I want my next slide to be after slide two. I'm going to go to new slide. Now, it automatically brings it up in this format. However, if I wanted to change that, I could just go to slide. And there's one that's called apply layout. So you can actually look through these and they have many, many different kinds of slides that are prearranged for you. So here's one like with a caption. So you could insert your picture and your caption below. I'm going to try that one. So um, speaking of inserting things, if you go into the insert tab here at the top, you can add, um, we've already talked about adding images, but you can add videos. You can add word art, just like you would in Microsoft Word. You can add a variety of types of lines, including scribble. Um, you can add shapes, all different options of shapes, and you can add also um, a table. So let's just say I wanted to add a shape of a, let's see, I'll go with the heart. Okay, so once that you have the tool up, you just click and drag. Now, again, with the, um, the shapes, you can format their fill color by clicking up here. Tons of different options with that. Again, we could spend all day talking about the different ways that you can format um, these shapes and things that you insert. Also under insert, there is, oh, excuse me, so I'm going to click off of that. Also under insert, there's something called slide numbers. Um, this would allow you to put um, numbers on your slides, almost as if you had page numbers on a Microsoft document. One of the things that I always find useful is um, hyperlinking different texts so that it takes kids or people directly to websites. So first I'm going to add a text down here. This is a sample image. Now um, let's say that I wanted to um, link this, this is a sample image statement, to a website. So I've already in a new uh, different tab searched horses and so I wouldn't want to use Wikipedia. Um, so let's say I want to use this National Geographic. If I right click on the hyperlink, I can copy the link address and come back into my Google Slides. Now, if I just Command V or Control V, uh, if you're on a PC, it's going to paste the hyperlink in there, which doesn't look very great. Um, if I were actually to highlight the text that I want to hyperlink, I can, excuse me, I can then right click on it and go to link and then paste the link in there and it's going to actually make this word a live link. Just something, um, just a side note, if you're on a Mac and you do command K, it's going to bring the same thing up and again on a PC it would be control K or um, you can go through the right click insert link option. Up next on making your Google presentation fancy part two, I'm going to show you a few different formatting tools like transitions and animations, which might be something that you're familiar with with Microsoft PowerPoint.